Welcome to the Judaism, the Modern Jewish World Lecture. All right, history of Judaism. Followers are known as Jews. It's one of the oldest religions in the world. All right, it's established in the Middle East in about 1500 BCE. All right, Christianity and Islam were influenced by Judaism. They kind of, they all three share a common start in their religions. <clears throat> Adherence to their beliefs, customs, and identity has allowed uh, Judaism to survive for so long. As I said, it was one of the oldest religions in the world. Terms th that we need to be familiar with are Hebrew, Israelite, Jew, and Israeli. All right, they're all used to describe followers of Judaism. All right, Hebrews are people of various tribes who accepted Yahweh as their one God. Their God's name is Yahweh. All right. a word, the word actually translates to mean outsider or wanderer. They lived from the earliest time to the end of the second millennium BCE. Now the term Israelite. These are descendants of Hebrews all right, that are also joined by other peoples. They created the United Nation of Ancient Israel around 1025 BCE. The term is also used to describe the people of the northern kingdom of Israel from 922 to 722 BCE. Now the term Jew, that comes from Yehuda or Judah. All right, Judah is the southern kingdom of Israel from 922 to 586 BCE. Um, it's more of a religious state, all right? They're dedicated to live as God's loyal followers. Um, they're ruled by religious laws. Um, Jews are going to scatter throughout the world at about 70 CE. This is known as the Diaspora, when the Jews are scattered throughout the world. All right? Judah is going to be just shortened to Jew. All right, today it's used to refer to members of a religious or cultural group. There's a lot of culture behind Judaism. A lot of times when we hear the word Jew, we think about the religion, but there's a huge cultural aspect to it. Someone is a Jew if their mother was a Jew or converted to Judaism. All right, um, they've established a home in Israel. All right, nowadays following the Holocaust and World War II, they now have their own home in Israel, and all Jews can become Israelis. So if you're a practicing Jew in the United States, you can become an Israeli citizen and move there. Basic beliefs of Judaism. They have one universal God, and that is Yahweh. That is the same God as what Christians call God and what uh, Muslims call Allah. All three are the same religious entity, okay? Yahweh is believed to be the creator of the universe, is eternal, perfect, all-knowing, holy, and without physical form. Jews were specifically chosen by God to receive his laws. All right? And that is proof by the examples of the covenants or agreements that God makes with humans. An example of that would be Abraham was to be the father of the nation that would live in the promised land of Canaan. The law, uh, the Jewish law is written in the to Torah, this thing here, is the holy scripture of the Jews. It contains what Christians call the first, or the first five books of what Christians call the Old Testament. Right? They have two basic codes of ethics, love God above all things and love thy neighbor as thyself. All right? So love each other as you love yourself. And that means you need to have respect for your family, okay? Family is a huge aspect in Judaism. You must also do charitable works for the sick, poor, and elderly. And education of the young. There are going to be rewards for those that follow the law, but there will also be punishments for those who disobey. Prophets of Judaism are also the same as uh, other religions, so they believe also in Moses, Samuel, Amos, Isaiah, Jeremiah, and Ezekiel. Ancient times, priests would help individuals pray to God and to help them obey the law. Nowadays, individuals can pray directly to God. Okay, Religious leaders are rabbis. They're responsible for studying, interpreting, examining the law, and relating it to the people.
Okay, so the religious leaders nowadays are rabbis. They believe in the Messiah. The Messiah is their savior. All right? He's believed to come to earth in human form. He will rule a perfect world, lead those that follow the law, and punish those that disobey. All right? Israel will be the land that he rules, and he will lead a worldly example. Okay? Some branches believe that the Messiah will bring peace and love among all nations and be an inspiring leader for others to follow. Observing the Sabbath, all right? The Sabbath are, is on Saturdays. That's their holy day, and it's to be a day of rest. Ancient belief is that you shouldn't do any work, okay, whether it's your job or gardening or cleaning, all right? You're just to observe your religion in a day of prayer. The place of worship for Jews is the synagogue, all right? Prayer services are led by a rabbi and cantor, all right, special religious singers. And special days in the synagogue are Sabbath services and the services of holy days. All right, so here's their calendar. The most holy days are Yom Kippur, the Day of Atonement. All right, that's their holiest day. Rosh Hashanah is the Jewish New Year. Sukkot is the Feast of Tabernacles. Purim, that celebrates the rescue of the Jews of ancient Persia from a plot to destroy them. Pusak, all right, is, commemorates the Jews' exodus and escape from Egypt. All, right? all of these holidays recall historical events, and it puts a focus on family as a central support for the Jewish religion. All right? So once again, the family being a huge part of this as the survival of the Jewish religion. But once again, they also recall historical events to Jews. Their food needs to be what they call kosher, okay, that's fitting or proper. The meats include only meats from animals that chew their cud and have cloven hooves, kind of like the cow, all right? Only fish with gills and scales are to be considered kosher, so no catfish. Catfish don't have scales, okay? Uh, the meat must be butchered according to special rabbinical rituals, all right? And milk and meat may not be eaten at the same meal. So if you're planning on drinking milk, you can't be eating meat. And if you're going to eat meat, you can't be drinking milk. Rites of passages. All right, there's ceremonies that are performed to mark important milestones in, the, in their lives, such as birth, marriage, and death. The eighth day of life, boys are to be ritually circumcised. Um, and that is to symbolize Abraham's covenant with God. Marriage. Men and women, they stand under a kupa to symbolize their union. So this little canopy is the kupa. All right, and then grooms will break a glass under his foot to symbolize the destruction of the ancient temple in Jerusalem. Mourning the dead. When a parent dies, children are to tear the clothing over their hearts, other relatives' clothing on their right side. For the first day or two between death and burial, no one is to visit the mourners so that they can concentrate on the dead. They are left alone. Seven days after the burial, mourners are to do no work and, or do anything for pleasure. Right? They're, they're focus on mourning the dead. 30 days after the death, okay, they are not to go to parties or listen to music. Right? Parents mourn a child's death for 12 months by reciting the memorial prayer, the Kaddish. Bar mitzvahs. Boys are responsible for their own actions at 13, all right? So they become bar mitzvah, or son of the commandment. Boys read from the Torah, okay, as you see this boy here, and they give an explanation in front of their friends and family. The ceremony is followed by a celebration that embraces the whole family, all right? Girls' uh, equivalent age for uh, bat mitzvah is 12, okay? So boys have bar mitzvah, girls have bat mitzvah. Who's a Jew? Well, two ways to become a Jew. You're either born a Jew or you can convert. A baby must have a Jewish mother by tradition. The reasoning is um, it is not the father. It is the identity of the father is not always known, but the identity of the mother is. All right? Once you are Jewish, you are always Jewish, even if you convert to another religion, and that's according to Jewish law. How do you convert to Judaism? There's a formal process of conversion. 
Step one, you must learn Jewish laws and customs and start living by them. Step two, you have to take an oral or written exam before a rabbinical court called the Beit Din. If you pass, all right, boys are to be circumcised. If you're already circumcised, then a symbolic drop of blood is taken. Step three, your immersion in water is to symbolize uh, their purification, the mikveh. All right, and then step four, uh, you're given a Jewish name. Branches of Judaism, all right? United Kingdom and Europe, they have different names, but they all kind of mean the same. All right, there's Orthodox, Reform, and Liberal. In the United States, we have Orthodox, Conservative, and Reform. All right, difference being what Europe calls Reform, we call Conservative. What Europe calls Liberal, we call Reform. All right, Orthodox, they're the most traditional uh, Jews. All right, they absorb the laws of the Torah to the letter. Okay. Um, men wear these black coats and hats modeled on the 18th century Polish wear. They often have two curly locks coming down from their hair. All right? And their services are held in all Hebrew. Conservative Jews, or what they call Reform in the UK, they compromise more than one, or comprise more than one-third of the world's Jews. They're more, more relaxed on some of the laws. They don't follow the dietary kosher laws. And they don't stop working on the Sabbath. All right, then there's Reform Judaism. Services are held in the local language as well as Hebrew. And they also allow women prominent roles as well as to become rabbis. Okay, so you can see it's a little more relaxed. Rosh Hashanah. All right, two days are taken from the New Year. Are taken for the New Year. And that's because messengers weren't sent out on the New Year's Day. So no one knew for sure when the New Year Day was or when it began. So they celebrated and observed two religious or observed religious law on two possible days. So if they got one wrong, they would get get the next day right. Reformed Jews they only observe one day. All right, Jews learning about Judaism. It begins in the home. All right, mothers are traditionally the family's Jewish educator. Synagogues are the center of Jew. Judaism education, all right? Children are to, or are to attend Chadur, all right, and learn Hebrew and study parts of the Torah and Talmud. All right, they attend from about five years old. Adults attend Bible studies, and more synagogues have a large library for any studying that they want to conduct. And then there's Yeshiva, or Academy, which offers academic and religious classes. All right, and then there's universities or seminaries are available for rabbinical studies for those that would like to become a rabbi. And that concludes the Judaism lecture.